Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I would like to use secant and tangent lines to explain the derivative of a function. We have a secant line here. We have a tangent line here. And you can see we have two curves of an arbitrary function f of x. A secant line passes through the curve at exactly two points. You see, one, two. While the tangent line only touches the curve at exactly one point. You see that? That's the difference between them. So what does these two lines represent with respect to the curve? The secant line represents the average rate of change of the curve between these two points. While the tangent line represents the instantaneous rate of change of this curve at a particular point. That's the difference between them. So now we are going to talk about their slopes. You should know that the slope of this curve is exactly equal to the slope of this line, but at this particular point. Yes. So how do we calculate the slope of a point? I would like to calculate the slope of this point between this and this. You know, uh, this is the first quadrant. We expect all of these values to be positive. So this is an arbitrary value of x. Let me start with this particular point. Let's assume this point is x. What about this point? That, 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 it should be here. Um, all right. First of all, before we name this point, let's assume that uh, the distance from this point to this point is h. That is the horizontal distance. If this is h, because we know from the origin down to the first point is x. x is any value. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4. So if from this first point to the second point is h, then we expect this one to be what? x plus h. Assuming the dist the, this point is 1 and the distance between them is 3, then we expect this to be 4. But I don't want to use numbers. So this second point is going to be x plus h. All right, that is on x-axis. Then remember, if you want to find the corresponding value of y, you have to plug in that value into the main function, right? For example, if this is 1, then this point, the corresponding value of y should be f of 1, whatever it is. For example, if the function is x squared, and we choose x to be 2, then y will be 4 because 2 squared is 4. But since we, we are using variables, not necessarily using numbers. So to plug in x into the main function, it will give us this corresponding value of y at that point. So I think let me remove this curve because it is not important here. We're only interested in here. So this particular point should be f of x. Yes. What about this one? Maybe I'm supposed to use a instead of x because the function is already x. But what matters is understanding. If you want to get the corresponding value of y at this point, it should be what? f of x plus h. f of f of x plus h. Once you plug in this value into the function, it will give us the value of y. We are coming to this one because this explains the derivative. Because the derivative of a function is the slope of the tangent line at that particular point. Yes. How do we calculate slope? Slope is what? The change in y divided by the change in x. That is y2 minus y1 divided by what? x2 minus x1. This is the formula we use for the slope m. Right? All right. Um, so the slope m is equal to... This is our y2, this is our y1, it will going to be what? f of x plus h minus f of x, right? Divide by, what is x2? This is going to be our x2, x plus h minus x. And if you simplify for that, you can see x minus x is 0, so we only have h here. Uh, so let me rewrite it here. m is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divide by um, only h. All right. So this is the slope 
That is the average rate of change of the curve from x to x plus h. And you can also call it uh, dy over dx, right? Instead of using m, you can say this is what? The change in y divided by the change in x. Change in y divided by the change in x. But coming down here, what happened? Because here we have only a single point. Let's call it x. How do we calculate the slope here? Because it has to be change in x divided by the change in y. Well, if you relate the two, you may decide to bring this point closer and closer to this particular point. So it means that the slope of a tangent line is the limit of the slope of the secant line as h approaches zero. Because you can see the distance uh, from this particular point to this point is h. The moment you keep on reducing it, gradually it will approach this particular point. And at that point, h mm, is almost negligible. It is approaching zero directly. So assuming this is where uh, we have the other point, you bring it closer and closer to this particular point, eventually h will vanish. Therefore, the slope here, we can say that instead of calling it delta y divided by delta x, you can call it dy divided by dx, is equal to the limit as h approaches zero, of what? Everything here. f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. That is the only difference between them. Let me put a bracket here. That is the only difference between them. You see that? Everything here is here. The only difference is that we apply limit. Because we are not going to use zero. Because if the denominator is zero, everything here is undefined. Therefore, it has to approach zero, closer and closer to the first point. At that point, h is almost negligible. Therefore, it approaches zero. You see, this is what the derivative of this function f of x at a particular point x. x here represents a value, right? It could be three, four, whatever. So. This is the derivative of the function, and it comes from the slope of a secant line as h approaches zero.